a pregnant woman walks onto Shark Tank holding a soda made from vinegar. A few years later, that same soda is out selling Coke and Pepsi on Amazon. And in 2025, it's bought by PepsiCo for almost $1.65 billion. But how does a fizzy health drink made from apple cider vinegar actually get produced at scale? We went behind the scenes to find out how Poppy is made, step by step, inside the factory. A soda that went viral on TikTok, a recipe born in a Dallas kitchen. It all started in 2015, when Allison Elfsworth was dealing with constant stomach issues. After trying everything, she landed on apple cider vinegar. It helped, but the taste was awful. So she started mixing sparkling water, fruit juice, and a splash of vinegar in her kitchen. The result? Surprisingly good. Her husband liked it, so did everyone at their local Dallas farmer's market. That's when they realized this wasn't just a home remedy, it could be a real business. Now, let's fast forward to today, where Poppy is made on a massive scale. Here's how. Poppy's factory process starts with one key thing, top quality ingredients. At the heart of every can is apple cider vinegar, but not the stuff you see in plastic bottles at the grocery store. Poppy uses organic, unfiltered vinegar that still has the mother, a natural mix of good bacteria and yeast that forms during fermentation. It's cloudy, strong smelling, and full of gut-friendly benefits. But let's be real, it's not something most people enjoy drinking straight. That's where the fruit comes in. Every flavor is carefully picked not just to taste good, but to balance out the vinegar's sharp bite. Strawberries add a soft sweetness. Pineapple brings a bold tropical kick. Lemon and lime brighten things up. Even herbs like rose or ginger help round out the flavor. And it's all natural, non-GMO, no artificial sweeteners, no preservatives, no fake colors. Poppy isn't trying to be a healthy soda that tastes boring. It's made to be refreshing and enjoyable, with the bonus of being better for your gut. Once the ingredients arrive at the factory, they're not used right away. First, they go through a detailed quality check. Technicians test everything, fruit juices, vinegar, and other ingredients to make sure they're clean, safe, and meet the right standards. They check the pH, sugar levels, and even look for anything that might mess with the drink's shelf life. Only the batches that pass all these tests move forward. Next, the action shifts to the formulation room. This is where the real recipe work happens. Wearing clean lab coats, the team carefully measures each ingredient. Apple cider vinegar, fruit juice, water, and natural flavors. The vinegar has to be diluted just right so that it's effective, but not overwhelming. The juice levels need to bring the flavor without pushing the sugar too high. Every single measurement is tracked by a digital system that keeps a record of the batch. If something's off, that batch doesn't move forward. It's all about getting the flavor and function perfectly balanced before scaling things up. Once the recipe checks out, the ingredients are pumped into huge stainless steel blending tanks, some big enough to hold thousands of gallons at a time. This is where everything comes together. Inside these tanks, the mix is slowly blended using special paddles that keep things moving gently but evenly. Cooling systems keep the temperature just right to protect the flavors, and sensors constantly track things like pressure, temperature, and texture to make sure the blend stays consistent from start to finish. Natural ingredients like fruit juice and vinegar can change slightly from batch to batch. Maybe one batch of strawberries is a little sweeter or a bit more tart, so the system has to adjust in real time to make sure every can tastes the same. At this stage though, the drink still tastes flat, there's no fizz yet. And that's where carbonation comes in. Poppy uses a process called inline CO2 infusion. Instead of adding bubbles at the end like older soda factories used to do, Poppy carbonates to liquid early in the process using a pressurized system. Cold temperatures help the CO2 dissolve into the mix without making it foam up, and the pressure is carefully controlled to create a soft, clean sparkle, not the kind of heavy fizz you get with regular colas. It's lighter, smoother, and designed to let the fruit flavors and vinegar shine through. The whole setup is sealed tight to keep things sanitary and to protect those tiny bubbles all the way to the canning line. Now comes one of the most important steps in making sure every can of poppy is safe to drink, pasteurization. Instead of loading the drink with preservatives, poppy uses something called tunnel pasteurization. It's a long, conveyor belt-like chamber where the filled cans go through controlled heating and cooling. They're gently warmed to a temperature that's hot enough to kill off any unwanted bacteria, then quickly cooled back down. This process helps extend shelf life and ensures food safety, but it's done in a way that keeps the natural taste, aroma, and texture of the drink intact. 
It's a careful balance, hot enough to do the job, but not so hot that it ruins what makes Poppy taste fresh. After pasteurization, the product is ready for canning. The liquid travels through sterile, sealed pipes directly to the canning line. This is where things really pick up the speed. Cans are loaded in rolls and whisked into high-speed filling machines that pour in the exact same amount, usually 12 ounces, without splashing, foaming, or losing carbonation. There's no room for error. As soon as the cans are filled, they move to a sealing station where lids are pressed and rolled on in just a fraction of a second. It's all done in a clean, cold environment to keep the product fresh and to make sure none of the bubbles escape. Even after the cans are sealed tight, Poppy doesn't cut corners. Each one goes through automated checks where sensors scan for fill-ups, lid pressure, and seal strength. But they don't just rely on machines. Every few minutes, a real person steps in to pull cans off the line and inspect them hand by hand. They're checking for dents, weak seals, and carbonation that might not be up to standard. If something's off, that can doesn't make it. The idea is simple. Every can of Poppy should taste just as fresh and fizzy, whether it's bought in Texas or New York. Then comes a step that really shows Poppy's creative side. Before the cans are even filled, they're printed directly with colorful designs. No stickers, no plastic wraps, just bright, bold artwork applied right onto the aluminum. It's cleaner, faster, and better for the environment. Plus, those cans? They're made to stand out. Whether it's the pink of raspberry rose or the red of cherry cola, each flavor has its own bold identity. And let's be honest, it's part of what made Poppy blow up on social media. People didn't just drink it, they showed it off. And that look? Totally intentional. From the quirky names like Doc Pop, to the fun fonts and cheerful color palette, everything is designed to catch your eye, and your phone camera. Poppy knew that a drink could taste great, but it also had to look good in a photo. That strategy paid off big on platforms like TikTok and Instagram, where fans turned those vibrant cans into part of their daily aesthetic. Once the cans are ready, they're grouped into packs. Depending on the color, it might be a 6-pack or a 12-pack. At this point, the robots step in. Automated arms carefully load the cans into cardboard trays or recyclable paperboard carriers. Then, everything is shrink-wrapped for stability and moved onto pallets. These pallets head straight into climate-controlled storage rooms, keeping the drinks cool and shelf-stable until they're ready to go out. Shipping, too, is run like a tight ship. Poppy uses live inventory systems that match production with orders. So whether a grocery chain needs to restock, or someone places a single order online, the software knows where that pack is and how fast it can get there. From warehouse to doorstep, it's all timed with precision. And that efficiency means Poppy can keep up with demand even as the brand continues to grow. So from blending ingredients to sealing cans to shipping orders, every part of Poppy's factory process is designed to work like clockwork. It's fast, efficient, and scalable, but without losing the small batch feel that made people love it in the first place. And at the end of the day, it all goes back to that first experiment in a Dallas kitchen. A fizzy, fruity drink made with vinegar and a little imagination. Now, thanks to some serious science and next-level factory tech, that same idea is being turned into millions of cans a month, each one made to taste just right and ready to make someone feel good. And that journey is getting bigger every year, Poppy is no longer a niche brand. It's in over 50,000 stores across the US, from Whole Foods and Target to Walmart and 7-Eleven. And they're not stopping there. They've already expanded into Canada and have their sights set on more international markets. And that's exactly how Poppy turns apple cider vinegar and fruit into millions of fizzy, gut-friendly sodas, one carefully crafted can at a time. Which part of the process surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fascinating factory processes.